Hello, my name is Neil Williams. Thank you very much for joining me here at Salisbury Golf Centre. Before we start, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell, which will then notify you with any new content I do. So this video, we're gonna look on how to pitch to success, including three top tips, improving your striking, accuracy, and how to practice to success. Okay, let's get started. So the first tip is how to improve your striking. So the main issues I see is the fat shot where you've caught the ground just before the golf ball, the thin shot, the ball goes straight through the green, or the digging in too steeply, where the club's getting too steep into, into the golf ball and you're likely to see the club dig into the mud. These usually come from your poor positioning of your sternum during setup or during impact. The sternum is the center of your swing. So as the club goes around your body and the club head builds a circle around your body, the center of that circle is your sternum. So let's start with the fat shots. The fat shots could be a couple of issues. One, where the player starts to use their arms rather than the body through the shot, causing you to hit the ground before the golf ball but we could save that for another video. The second one is where the player tends to have their sternum behind the golf ball during impact and then either trying to create loft to the shot, causing to hit the ground before the golf ball. The thin shots have come from where the players either hit the ground before the golf ball and they're reacting to that and then they start lifting their sternum up, causing the thin shot. The steep shots, or the digging in shots, usually come from where the sternum's too far in front of the golf ball and ends up the club's getting too steep to the shot. So to improve your striking, you need to set your sternum in the correct position and maintain it in the correct position throughout the swing. So here's how. So during the setup, you need to create a little bit more pressure towards the target rather than weight over the target towards the target. So too much weight will cause your sternum to be too far in front of the golf ball, causing you to hit digging in shots. We need to find out the difference between pressure and weight. So this is my this is my seesaw when it illustrates pressure versus weight. So I'm putting weight on my left hand side towards the target, which then shows my sternum's too far over the golf ball. I'm going to create a bit more pressure on my left hand side, keeping my sternum just in front of the golf ball. This is the correct position of your sternum. You wouldn't want to sway into the shot, causing your sternum be, to be behind the golf ball, causing the fat shots. So maintaining pressure on the left hand side during the swing will help you hit ball and turf. I'm fortunate enough to be a body track certified golf coach and I'd like to show you PGA golf coach Mark Blackburn does when he's pitching on a body track mat. As you can see, Mark has set up 80% pressure on his lead foot with the blue circle and 20% pressure on his trail foot which is the red circle. Note his swing centre is slightly in front of the ball. When Mark takes his club at the top of his swing, in this case P3, where his arms parallel to the ground, he has 40% pressure on his lead foot and 60% pressure on his trail foot. This is because his arm and club mass has created more pressure on his right side. Now for the downswing, as Mark starts his downswing, the pressure underneath his lead foot increases dramatically at P6. This is where his club is parallel with the ground. He has 90% on the lead foot. That's even before he hits the ball.
followed by the follow through which shows 92%. So ideally, when pitching, you need to maintain pressure on the left-hand side throughout the whole of the swing. You can see this on my seesaw. So as I take the club away, I'm not rocking back or I'm not swaying back. I'm maintaining pressure on my left-hand side. I will recommend doing a few practice swings before you hit the shot. Maintain pressure on the left hand side and have a couple of practice swings. Learn to use the bounce of the club, the sole of the club, and make sure that you're striking the ball in front of your centre. As you do a practice swing, this will help you build up a bit more confidence in your ability uh, and then you can be able to see some better results. Just like that. So now for tip number two, accuracy. Now for players who can't quite get the ball tight to the green or tight to the flag consistently, it's maybe because their hands are too active through the swing. Now providing the setup and everything's all correct, and the club pace is important to the target, I'll run down a few things for you to help you get the ball towards the target consistently. So I want you to check your grip when it comes to your wedges. Make sure your palm is pointing to the target rather than underneath it or on top. So as the palm pointing to the target, that club head is pointing to the target. Now we need to maintain that palm pointing to the target as long as possible. This simple drill is how you're going to get that sensation. So bring your left hand behind you, pop the ball in the middle of your palm, take your, take your stance, go to the top of the swing and throw that ball out as long as possible as, uh, uh, and make sure that arm is pointing to the target as long as possible. If your hands start to flip over, you'll see the ball go left. So we need to get that palm pointing to the target as long as possible. So once you've got that sensation, take hold and make sure that right palm is pointing to the target. Now during the swing, we need to make sure that palm is pointing to the target as long as possible throughout the swing. Stiffed it. Yes. So tip number three is practice to success. So I would recommend hitting a half a dozen shots with those drills that I've just mentioned, putting the pre maintain pressure on the left hand side, that palm button to the target as long as possible. And when you start to see some good, good consistent shots, we need to get five balls out and five targets. So my first target is the one the tree right at the base of that tree. Second target was this this uh, green over here on the left. Third target is the flag, which is about 75 yards. Fourth target is the 50 sign, and the fifth target is the nets on the left hand side. You might not be able to see that, but it's the, they've got some nets on the left hand side. So rather than hitting ball after ball after ball, aiming at one target, I would recommend to choose five targets have five balls and see how you, close you can get with each ball, with each target. This replicates the actual game of golf. I would like you to be really specific in where you want the ball to land. Get a really great picture in your mind of where you want the, precisely where the ball wants to finish. So I've got a target of the tree over here. See if I can land it right at the base of the tree. I've got the, um, the flag over here, which is about 15 yards. I've got the 50 sign. I've got the 75 yards shot there, which is the pin right in the down there. I think you might be able to see that. Uh, and I've got the nets on the left hand side. You might not be able to see that on the camera. Um, but yeah, I've got five balls here and see if I can get them really close to these targets. I'm taking my time. This replicates the actual game of golf. I'll promise you, you're going to see some great success. 
if you practice like this. So I've got one, two, three, four, all in six foot, seven foot, happy with that. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope all those tips will help your game out as much as it helped me over the years. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, this way you'll get notified with any new videos I do. You can catch me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.